Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome to a new video. If this video is actually going anywhere. Oh, my face looks really oily. Because I actually just jumped out of bed. Um, I'm going to the gym. And I, I've been trying to figure out what's next to post on YouTube. Because I've kind of run out of ideas. You know, things like this happen. So I decided to just do something like a week at the gym or three days at the gym kind of thing. Because I was like, okay, maybe it would be nice to just show that part of my life, I guess. I don't know. The last gym video I did did really well. And I'm kind of now all about this whole healthy eating life. And not overboard or over the top or anything. Because I'm just starting. And I mean, I'm a very picky person when it comes to food. But in general, I'm trying to be more healthy, exercise, all those things. I used to go to the gym anyway. But I'm taking it much more seriously here. So I decided to make that into a video, I guess. And just take you guys along, show you what my routine is like at the gym. There's there's a there's a gym here in my apartment. Although I'm not sure if it's open today because this is Thanksgiving break. But I will go downstairs and check. And if it's not open, maybe I'll go to the school gym. So today I'm going to be doing legs. Outside is really cold. That's why I'm wearing this sweater. But when I get to the gym, I'll remove it. So today is Tuesday. Tuesdays are my leg day. Um I picked Tuesdays as leg day because Tuesdays used to be my leg day in Nigeria. So I kind of just went with it. And leg day is one of my <laughs> worst, worst days at the gym. So I'm going to have to push myself extra hard today. And I just want to carry you guys along so you kind of know what to do if you're planning to go to the gym and it's your first time, you know. I'll mostly make this video a voiceover because I can't speak too much while I'm at the gym. But anyhow, it comes out, it comes out. That's it. Let me, let me go. Really, really not in the mood for leg day. Never in the mood for it. And I do it twice a week, which is so crazy. Okay, so this is the fitness center. It's just a small mini gym-ish. It's all these equipment. It's very sustainable. So I usually start off my leg day with weights. Those are the weights I'm going to be using. They don't look very new, but they get the job done. That's the most important thing. So what you're seeing me do here is bring out the weights that I'm going to be using throughout today. I started with 25 pounds because I'm increasing all the weights that I'm using for all my routines today. The next one was I think 35 and this biggest one here is 40. It's been a while since I increased my weights. Okay, no, I increased my weights. Um, when? I increased my weights last week. So I'm going to try to increase my weights again. Wish me luck today. Oh, for God's sakes. Wish me luck today because I, I really hate leg day. So I'm going to start out by stretching. And stretching is really important before you start any routine at all because it helps to open up your, what helps with your reflexes basically so that your muscles are not stiff and so that you don't have joint pains and all those things. So any kind of stretching is good. These ones are just the most basic ones that I do. My trainer in Nigeria taught me how to do them. So, and then some of them I also learned from Instagram reels, all these Instagram gym videos. You know, you see a lot of them if that's something that you're into. So, I'm basically stretching out before I start doing anything serious here. So we are going to start out with weighted squats, okay? And I'm holding a 40 pound dumbbell. I don't know how much that is in kg. But squats is very simple. You're just going up and sitting down on an imaginary stool. But you have to do it more slowly than I'm doing it here. I have a bad habit of rushing through my workouts. I shouldn't be doing that. 
the reason why you should take it slowly is so that you can feel the impact of what you're doing and you can feel the burn better in your legs so you also want to make sure that you are getting your form right so that you don't injure yourself or injure your joints I'm going to show you guys another angle and that's the approach I'm going to be taking throughout this video. So it's still the same thing. Unfortunately, um, I was still kind of rushing through. I have a problem balancing my legs and my knees. First of all, my knees are like half key leg, you know, although it's not very obvious. But they're not very straight. My legs are not very straight and balancing them on the floor and doing leg workouts is it's such a struggle but i push through it regardless um the main thing to keep in mind is don't rush through and just make sure that your form is right so i was also kind of struggling here because i increased my weight this is 40 pounds usually i would do 30 or 35 but i went a step further today and then i did 15 reps of this so you can start with 10 or you can even start with 7 or 8 depending on what you can do or how high your endurance level is. I'm doing the final what set. I usually do 4 sets of everything but in this video I'm going to keep it to 2 to 3 sets. Okay, I'm just I'm going to show you only 2 out of 4 or 3 out of 4 sets that I did that day. So I didn't want to include everything because I felt like it would make the video unnecessarily long and I didn't want to do that. okay so the next leg exercise we're going to be doing is called sumo squats now these ones are a, a bit easier than the regular squats because your legs are wide open and it's kind of just easier for you to pull the dumbbell back up so for this one i would even recommend that you go a step further by carrying a dumbbell that is heavier than normal because just carrying the regular one you probably may not feel anything um, but if you carry something that is heavier you would definitely feel the impact so usually for this one i like to do double squats but i was just keeping it simple and i just did the single squat so this one is the same thing as your regular squats you just want to open your legs go down and come back up and also remember not to rush So we are going to do this again but this time I'm showing it to you from a different angle so that you know what to do if you're actually using this video at the gym and if you're learning. Um, it's the same thing but this time I am kind of flexing my leg muscles just so that I can feel the burn. It's something that you want to do. I feel like that Loki is part of getting your form right. You know you don't just want to rush through anything and not even feel the impact of what you're doing and if you can't even feel the impact of what you're doing then your workouts is not i don't want to say it's not going to do anything but what's the point of just rushing through you know because you're doing it to get results so you have to keep that in mind when you're doing this The next exercise we're going to be doing is called split squats i think i don't think this is bulgarian but let me just call this split squat so um it's basically one leg in front and one leg behind but we are going to be doing it with weights so right now i'm holding 25 pounds 25 pound dumbbells on each hand i used to use 20 but this time i increased it to 25 and you're basically just going down coming back up going down coming back up but you also want to do it slowly i did about 12 or 15 reps on each leg 
so you can do 10 if you're just starting out and remember to start with weights that you can actually handle because you don't want to be an overachiever when it's just your first time and then end up injuring your leg or something like that so i got tired and i rested for a few seconds and i just came back to complete my my set and i'm always i always say that it's okay to be tired and just take a breather and come back because you know it helps so now i'm going to be doing the second leg same thing i try to kick back one leg as far back as possible and then keep the other one in front very steadily also this is one workout that i find challenging because i have issues with balancing my feet balancing my knees balancing my toes it's very difficult but um, it's nice to push yourself through your limits sometimes because that's the only way that you be able to see progress So we are doing this again, but I'm just showing you from a different angle, just in case this is something that you're actually doing so that you know how to position your legs and how to go down and whatnot. If you can see, I was struggling just a little bit here because like I said, balance is one of my problems at the gym. So these 25 pound dumbbells are, I think, equivalent to 11 kg on each side. I, I'm not sure, but I think it's about 11 kg. So America uses pounds and not kg. And it's been very confusing because in Nigeria, we use kg. In fact, a lot of measurement units here in America are always different. So I'm just trying to get used to them. Um, that, I guess that goes without saying. So it's basically the same thing. You're repeating, go up, go back down, go up, go back down. But you want to do it slowly so that you can feel the burn in your legs okay The next exercise we're going to be doing is RDL. So RDL stands for Romanian deadlifts. And this one is kind of tricky because if you don't get your form right, your waist can hurt. So what I'm showing you here is basically how to stand to get the form before we actually start the exercise. So it is one leg behind the other, closely behind the other. And then you have to make sure that you're balanced because you're going to be lifting weights and it's not very comfortable but it is very effective for your hamstring or your hamstrings so um this is how it is going to be i'm showing you before i actually pick up the weights because i know that this is one exercise that i really hated before i learned how to do and surprisingly it's one of my favorite to do at the gym now so you're basically lifting the dumbbell from your ankle to somewhere above your knee or just just maybe on your knee right on your knee and it looks like it's nothing but when you're doing it you kind of feel like your legs are vibrating because it is really difficult i did about 10 reps on each leg because i just see my legs are even vibrating here already it was just too hard um you feel it on your hamstrings and that's how you know that you're doing what you're supposed to do At some point, I had to switch from my left hand to my right hand because my right hand is my dominant hand and my hands were honestly hurting me. So you also want to keep in mind that you need a lot of upper body strength to do this because you're going to be pulling the dumbbell up and down. At some point, I even had to start using two hands. This is not ideal, okay? Don't, don't do this. But I'm just being transparent because it was, it was so difficult and I didn't want to go down without a fight. So that's it. In this part of the video, 
I'm going to be using this machine leg extensions and leg curls so let me just go back a bit so you see what the machine looks like that is it so i'm going to use this for two different types of workouts and then i'll be done so this is the leg extension as you can see here and then this is the leg curl um but i'm going to put my camera down and show you how i use it this is me sitting Okay, and wherever you see uh, colored heads like this one or like this one, it means that that's where you can adjust the machine from. Well, the weight is, I think, at 100 pounds here. So I'm not going to be adjusting it because I feel like I can, I can work with this. Oh, it is heavy though. It's heavy. Suffice it to say that whenever you're using any machine, you have to make sure that you know what you're doing so that you don't injure yourself. And if you're not sure, then probably just stick to dumbbells. And if you really want to use the machines, then find somebody to help you. So I'm going to start now and see if I can do up to 10, 12 or 15 reps. So whatever you're doing, just know that you can either do 10, 12 or 15 reps. If you're just starting, just start with 10 reps. But if you if your endurance level is high, then you can kick it up to 12 or 15. Also, um, sometimes I like to start off by warming up with just 10 or just reducing the weight a bit as a warm up. And then for my for my subsequent reps, I, inc I increase the weight. But if you're just starting, I would advise that you keep it at one particular um, weight and then you keep it at 10 reps. Okay. You should also know that leg extensions are supposed to work on your quads. So you're supposed to feel the burn on your quads. That is the front part of your thigh. If you're not feeling it, you probably want to increase the weights. And as usual, this is something that you should do slowly because that's how you feel the impact of what you're doing better. So I think I did about 15 reps of this. And when you're using this machine, you can put your hands on the sides. There's like a handle or there, there are handles on the sides for you to put your hands so that you can balance properly and get your form right. So now we are going to do leg curls. So notice that when I was doing leg extensions, my my legs were under this thing. My legs were under this. And it's all the way down here. But for leg curls, it's going to come up. So let me just adjust the machine. So this is why it's going to be this is how it's going to be for the leg curls leg curls are much more difficult because it's working on your hamstrings the back of your thigh if you will but it's called your hamstring so for this one i'm going to decrease the weight because i don't think i can do up to 100 pounds let me see oh i could but it's really hard okay so i just moved it to 90 pounds from 100 let me see if i can actually do it
I really struggled with this one because I increased the weight. In fact, I think it was at 90 pounds. Usually, I would do this at maybe 60 or 70. But I was trying to push myself. And because I didn't do too many sets of RDLs, I wanted to do leg curls to make up for working on my hamstrings. So you can see I'm really struggling here. And I just had to take a breather because it was it was really hard but it was kind of fun it was actually kind of fun i have to admit so that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one so finally done here for the day let me go back and rest because tomorrow is going to be upper body day and i hope it goes i'm sure it's go way better than today because i really 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 do not like leg day but shout out to me for pushing myself uh <laughs> through my limits and whatnot so i will see you guys tomorrow